Hey, this is Nick Nelson, that's Scientist of Muscle, and the exercise I've got for you here today is a front squat assistance exercise. Now, this is a very specific one for a very specific purpose. Um, there's two major weak links with the front squat, neither of which are the legs. Uh, the first and most apparent one is core strength. The core support strength as you're coming down into the bottom, this tends to collapse forward as you're getting into heavier, heavier weight. Now, if you've got core strength managed, you might find that your shoulder and upper back slash trapezius strength is lacking. So as you're coming to the bottom, your shoulders start to tip down a little bit, the bar starts to roll a little bit forward, then that further exacerbates any core weakness you might have. So you're not losing the lift because of leg strength, you're losing it because of core or upper back and shoulder strength. So what this exercise does is directly address the muscles responsible for maintaining this position all the way bottom back all the way to the top. Now this can be also with a clean grip or with a cross arm grip. For me, I prefer the uh, cross arm grip because my tricep flexibility isn't the greatest, so that's what I gravitate to. It's going to work either way. What you need for this one is a calf raise machine, a standing calf raise machine, probably going to work best, or a squat machine. Start with a light weight on here until you get an idea of it. What you want to do is put your hands together like so, forearms slash elbows right underneath the pad here. So your shoulders are not on the pad. You're actually bracing the pad right across here. And that is going to directly put resistance on the muscles that support that position. Now, that's just part of the lift. What you're going to do for the actual lift is bring your arms up and overhead, almost like a shoulder press without using your triceps. So um, this is another one you can do if you have any tricep issues that you want to rest um, and you still want to work your shoulders. So that's another option here. <coughs> Give you a quick demo of it. Okay, let's get hands clapped in, pads right on the elbow area. And then your arms are going to go up overhead. So that's the exercise. Now, as you're doing this, you're going to see and feel your front delts really, really working hard. Just doing this without the weight, my arms feel lighter already. The, uh, the way the traps work to assist with this is they kind of, if you want to envision pulling rotationally while you're stabilizing the scapula. So it's like locking down, allowing the front delts to pull and get that weight up. So that's the exact kind of movement and position we want when we're doing front squats especially when you come into the bottom. So this exercise is going to directly <laughs> help you use more weight on the front squat so you can actually challenge your legs, which is the main purpose of the exercise. So I'm going to show you a front end view here as well. So here's the front view of the exercise. Now, one other key thing when you're doing this, you want to keep your fists or your hands pressed together. That's going to give you some cross tension, some locking down tension to use the most weight with this exercise and get the most reps. So, hands in. Again, you're not resting the shoulder pads on top of your shoulders, they're on your elbows. major benefits of this particular exercise I found specifically for working the front delts, it puts very little torque on the actual shoulder joint itself. Uh, for me personally, when I'm doing front raises with a dumbbell, when the dumbbell is way out here and it's crossing two joints like so, that tends to put a lot of torque right inside the joint. It really doesn't feel quite right. However, when I do this one, it becomes a single joint exercise for real. You're not crossing tension through the elbow joint. So doing it this way, you get a lot more focused tension exactly where you want it, which is the front delt the trapezius and the muscles of the upper back for stabilizing for the front squat. So 
if you have this issue with front squats, um, upper back, with your arms starting to tilt forward at the bottom, give this exercise a try. Uh, work it. Um, you can do three to five sets of three to five reps at the end of your front squat training or at the end of your shoulder training. Do this regularly and your numbers coming out of the bottom will go up in the front squat.